Hello, I'm Simon Whistler, you're watching Top 10's Net, and in the video today we're looking at the top 10 unusual facts about ancient Egypt. Number 10. Ancient Egyptians kept baboons and other monkeys as pets and for ritual significance. Most people are well aware that ancient Egyptians did put some historical significance in certain animals, namely cats. Cats are known to be the number one go-to pet for Egyptians, and some are said to have been buried with their owners to accompany them in the afterlife. And while cats were very valued and had certain religious and ritual significance, they were not the only animal in that category. While it may not sound quite as dignified, monkeys, especially baboons, were kept around for their ritual significance in magic and religion, which were basically one and the same, and just to enjoy as fun pets. They also had to go to great trouble to get their hands on these baboons because they were not native to the area. Number 9. They went to great lengths to remove body hair and both genders often wore wigs. In many depictions of ancient Egypt, they are shown with very little hair on their heads, but many people do not realize the full extent of the work that went into removing body hair. Children of both genders would wear a small lock on the side of their head that would be cut off when they reached adulthood. Apart from this, both men and women were bald. Not only that, but both men and women went to great trouble to remove all body hair constantly from all parts of the body. This was a normal part of hygiene in ancient Egyptian society, but would have been quite extreme to people today. Of course, for women and men, fashion was still very important, so wigs were quite common, especially among the upper class. Number 8. The Book of the Dead was not originally a unified text. The Book of the Dead has been featured in countless movies, books, and other media at this point, which hasn't really done much to help people understand what it actually was. Most people think of it as something like an Egyptian version of the Bible or the Quran, but that isn't really accurate, at least not originally. The Book of the Dead was, in the beginning, much more like the wicked idea of a Book of Shadows, a journal you filled with your combined knowledge of all spells you had learned from others. For a long time in ancient Egypt, Books of the Dead were still very personal, they were rarely organized in any particular order, and there was no unifying structure on what should and shouldn't be included. It wasn't until the 26th dynasty that any kind of real organization or order was put in place, and even then historians have not been able to make proper sense of it. Number 7. The racial identity of ancient Egyptians is extremely controversial. Everyone respects and admires the ancient Egyptians, so it comes as no surprise to many that groups with an agenda will likely go to great lengths to attempt to define ancient Egyptians as whatever race helps them make a convenient political point. After a recent DNA test of Tutankhamun's mummy, some people claimed it was evidence that he was of Western European origin. In the past, people have also claimed the ancient Egyptians were of Nordic stock, and many have speculated and tried to claim with great passion that they were black Africans similar to many today. Historians, on the other hand, believe that they were a fairly racially diverse society that looked similar to many artistic depictions of them. Number 6. There are way more pyramids than most people know of. Whenever we hear about the pyramids, we hear about the Great Pyramids at Giza in Egypt. The pyramids were almost certainly burial chambers. The ancient Egyptians built, at least as far as Egyptologists are currently aware of, somewhere getting close to the neighborhood of 100 pyramids. None of them as large as the ones at Giza, but they are all quite sizable. Huge pyramidal chambers could only be afforded by the richest Egyptian citizens in the ancient days, but they were built for many Egyptians and were hardly a strange occurrence at all. Number 5. Some of the richer citizens in ancient Europe were incredibly fat. While most people would think that the ancient Egyptians were quite thin and muscular, like all societies, the way we look at what is preserved of history can skew our perceptions. Most of what we knew was based on builders and a few rich pharaohs, so it was hard to accurately gauge the true fitness of a person from an ancient society. However, recently remains were found of the pharaoh Hatshepsut, showing that she had been incredibly obese and likely also had diabetes due to her extreme overeating. While it's hard to say because surviving mummies are rare these days, if one rich citizen such as a pharaoh could be fat both socially and in terms of resources, it is quite likely that plenty of other, more privileged ancient Egyptian citizens were also fat as well. Number 4. So-called mummy parties have caused much of history to be lost forever. Many people have long been fascinated with ancient Egypt, but this got really strange in the early 1900s when Egypt fever was at a pitch in Europe. It started slowly and, like many fads, quickly grew out of control. People would bring back mummies as souvenirs from travels to Egypt, all happy to take advantage of the lax laws of the time, and then have parties where they unwrapped the mummy in their home with all of their friends around. This obviously permanently damaged precious pieces of history that could have yielded scientists with incredible information in the future with proper DNA analysis. Number 3. Ancient pharaohs were sometimes as crazy as Roman emperors 
Whenever someone wants to think of an example of tyrants who ruled with a combination of insanity and delusional grandiosity, they tend to immediately name someone like Emperor Nero. If they can't think of a specific name, they generally just compare them to the Roman emperors. However, while the Roman emperors may have been crazy, the pharaohs of ancient Egypt came before them, and they were often just as strange, or even stranger. For example, Pharaoh Pepi II became pharaoh at a very young age, and as such, it may not be surprising that the power went quickly to his head, and he began abusing it greatly. He personally hated flies, and so to ensure that they would never land on him, he came up with an ingenious and cruel idea to keep them off his body. He kept several slaves nearby at all times covered in honey, so the flies would bother them instead of him. Number 2. Not everyone in ancient Egypt was elaborately mummified When many people think of ancient Egypt, they mostly just assume that the society mummified everyone and that this was just their idea of the burial. However, while the elite certainly wanted the most elaborate process available with the most pomp and circumstance, many people did not have the means for very much. Many of the poorer or less well-to-do citizens would have to make do with less complete or more hasty forms of mummification that wouldn't preserve the body as long or as effectively. These ceremonies would probably involve some prayers and other spells, and would sometimes be a simple burial in the sand. Number 1. Punishments for breaking the law could be extremely harsh in the ancient world, punishments could often be harsh, but in ancient Egypt it was probably still far harsher in many cases than most people would imagine. In the ancient world, labor was considered much more important, and resources were very valuable. Those who needed to be punished were either killed outright or given their due and sent right back to work to continue producing for the collective. In ancient Egypt, the crime for stealing in one text is described as 100 blows and 5 wounds, and some studies carried out on skeletons have given researchers reason to believe this may have been a real punishment. They have found skeletons with gashes on the shoulder blade area, then believe the men were not attacked, but were likely being punished and were then sent right back to work. However, while punishments for stealing could be quite harsh, those for crimes of a sexual nature could be much harsher. Women were often treated more strictly, and if a woman was caught cheating, she literally had her nose cut off despite her face. In contrast, a man simply had to take a severe beating of 100 blows. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do give us a thumbs up below and also subscribe for brand new videos every day of the week. Also over there on the right, a couple of other videos you might enjoy if you enjoyed this one. One is the top 10 obscure facts about Africa that everybody needs to know. And below that, we've got the top 10 interesting facts about Europe. So if you enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy those as well. And thank you for watching.